Hey everyone, what's going on? It's Baron here. If you like my videos, don't forget to comment, subscribe, hit the bell to get all those notifications. If you like them, join my channel membership system or patrons. Join our Discord server if you want to join our giveaway. Hashtag giveaway down in the comment section below. You don't have to do it again if you've already commented. So today we're going to be doing the Idris M versus the Javelin. Yes, a lot of people probably won't even see this as a point of a video, but if you've got a lot of money, I guess you can have the choice between the two. But if you've got the Legatus, then you don't really have to worry about it because you got both of them. Yeah, you got both of them. That's um, it's kind of insane to think about. Um, all right, so we'll start with off with the Idris M. Obviously, we've seen these two against each other in Xeno Threat. Uh, it was a massive battle, all in all. Uh, obviously, the Javelin is much bigger than the Idris and a lot more powerful, but the Idris does have its upsides as well. So obviously, the Javelin being the Javelin, it's got a lot of stuff on its big guns. We'll go to the Idris M. So you got that size 10 railgun, you got those size 4 turrets, size 7, size 5, and then you got size 8 missiles, which you have 10 per mount, there's only one mount. But going on from there, I don't think this would really have missiles per se. But we're not really going to talk about that. We're going to talk about this massive railgun. So the railgun obviously does deal a fair bit of damage. I have been hit by one in my Carrick and the Carrick actually survived it, which was even crazier. So this ship being what it is, it's a lot of money for a lot of ship. Obviously, you can get it in the Praetorian pack. Now, whether or not, like I said, if you got a lot of money, this isn't really going to bother you with the costs and whatnot. You might already have both, but this is just sort of a general breakdown of the two. Like I said, we've seen these two against each other in Xeno Threat. This being quite effective against the Javelin, but the Javelin being obviously having its two like massive size 8 mounts, which have two per mount. Which is even crazier to think about. So that you've got that one up there and the one under the bottom, and you got all these turrets along the side of it as well. Now, being myself, I would probably get the Idris just because it's more um, logical to man and whatnot. But I guess if you got the manpower as well to man the javelin, I mean, go for it. Knock yourself out. Like it's literally double the size of the Idris, which is even crazier to think about. Like it's literally double the size and a couple of meters. So coming down to the stat facts, like obviously the Javelin has its size 8 weapons, like two um, like two mounts, but it's got two on each mount, which is weird. And then you've got 11 size 6s, and you've got 16, um, 16 per mount size 12. So what is that? You have 32 size 12 torps. That is insane to think about that those things would do a massive amount of damage like that would probably take an idris out in one hit but the idris can shoot them down as well so, because if you shoot it with size 10s that thing's just like yep i'm gonna shoot these down uh the size nine sorry but these two ships are like behemoths they are absolutely insane i like the thought of the idris because that front end feels like a juggernaut sort of feel to it obviously it can open up into a hangar um my mouse sucks um, open up into a hangar and whatnot, but that looks like that nose looks like it can do a lot of damage if it hits something that's Being flown this as well. It's kind of cool to see how everything works and how the turrets um, Sort of operate and how powerful they are because when you're in a ship those things smash you they absolutely like knock the crap out of you But honestly if I were to pick one I would pick the Idris M but again, if you got Legatus, then you don't really have to worry about it. Comment down in the section below if you have Legatus. Uh, I want to see your Executive Edition 600i. I also want to try and get one of those myself. <laughs> It'd be very impossible. Very impossible. Um, but yeah, if you guys like these ships, let me know down in the comments uh, what you think of each ship individually. Like what one you prefer the most. Uh, I mean, you do have this, which uh, the Idris does have its VTOL mode as well. It can land on planet surfaces where the Javelin is sort of a, a persisted ship that never despawns. It also, um, it's not really something you could take down to Atmo as well. So it's something you got to think about um, along with that. But pretty much, I would get the Idris M, to be honest. I know the Javelin's a wicked ship, but you need 12 to 80 people to man that thing. You don't need nearly near and as much for the Idris 8 to 28 people you see so there's that as well I hope you guys enjoyed it's been Baron I'll see you in the verse